What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 7 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So we're going to do a couple things in this tutorial. The first thing is to actually get our bird jumping and the second thing is to add a background onto our play stick. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. We're going to navigate to our bird class and inside of our bird class we're going to take a, uh, a new public void method called jump. And if you remember correctly, uh, so far our bird has gravity acting against it uh, in a uh, on the y axis, so the velocity is negative uh, over time. So in order to hop up uh, in the y axis, we need to add a positive velocity. So in this case, we'll say velocity dot y equals uh, two hundred and fifty. So now let's go to our play state and inside handle input, we'll say if uh, gdx.input dot is touched or just touched rather, dot just touched, then bird dot jump. Now let's go ahead and test that. So let's go ahead and hit our run button here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, we have our menu state. And then we have our bird here. As long as we click uh, jump, then he stays in a positive velocity, which means he goes up. And the second we stop clicking, gravity takes over in a negative direction and forces him down. So let's cr also create a new texture for our background. So private texture, uh, we'll just call it BG. And it's going to be bad logic. So also we'll do BG equals new texture and then we'll use the BG.png that we already have in our assets folder. So where do we want to draw our background? Well, we want to draw it wherever our camera is looking at any given moment. So let's do SB.draw. Uh, we'll draw our background image and then we'll do cam.position uh, dot x axis minus um, cam dot viewport width, the width of the screen divided by two. Because if we draw it right at the x axis, uh, the cam is centered in the middle of our screen, the, court, the position is centered in the middle of our screen, so our background will be halfway off of our screen. Um, so that will be the x axis, and the y axis will just be zero. We'll draw it in the bottom left hand corner. So let's go ahead and test it here uh, really quick. And we, there we go. We have a little flappy bird back there. Um, and as long as we keep clicking, he keeps a flying. So one of the things I wanna add is if he hits the bottom of the screen, he doesn't keep going where we can't see him. So um, in our bird class, we'll do if uh, position.y is less than zero, make position dot y equals zero and then um, we'll only add gravity if he's not already at the um, uh, zero on the y-axis so we'll just check if the position is greater than zero so if position dot y is greater than zero then we can add gravity so let's go ahead and test it one more time here We'll see if our little flappy bird falls off the screen this time. So there you go. He's not going further down uh, than the zero on the y-axis. And later on, when we add our ground image, uh, when he comes into contact with the ground, he'll be killed. So I think we'll go ahead and end that tutorial here. I hope you guys learned something. We definitely did a relatively decent amount in this video, made our bird fly and put some ground images on it and some bounds where our bird can go. Um, in the next video, we'll probably start moving him in the X axis um, and adding some obstacles. So we'll see what happens then. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.